It's David Spears, civil engineering instructor at Texas Tech University, talking about static CE2301, our test that we had, our third test of the year. This was uh, page number three. It involved a press that embosses a seal at point E. And we have pins at A, B, and D that allow those members to rotate. And it's noted that the contact surface at D is smooth. That means these side walls of the thing that the little like piston thing goes up and down in. Uh, I've got this geometry. I've got a 5 inch long leg of ABC and a 10 inch long leg there. This one makes a 60 degree angle with the horizontal. This arm makes a 15 degree angle with the horizontal. And the little uh, member BD attaches to D with a pin, makes an angle of 20 degrees with the vertical. So I've worked out the geometry here. The vertical distance from B to A is 5 times the sine of 60, 4.33 inches. Horizontal distance is 2.5 inches. That should be inches. And then that's 5 times the cosine of 60. And this up here is 9.66 inches, which is 10 times the cosine of 15. So that's the geometry. First thing I'm asked, and the first thing I should always do on statics problems, is to do a free body diagram of ABC and noting two force members. It's very important whenever I'm analyzing a frame to look for two force members because that simplifies my solution. So here I've got it A, B, C. At the pin at A, I have an X and a Y component force reaction. The two force member BD, it's got to be a two force member because it has forces applied only at two points at each end. So they've got to be collinear and in line with the, uh, the member. So I've called that FB, noting that it's acting at a 20 degrees angle from the vertical. And then I can resolve that into its two components X and Y. BX is equal to FB times the sine of 20. BY is equal to FB times the cosine of 20. Then out here at the end I have my applied force of 75 pounds. This is a composite of the three tests. So first thing I want to know is the magnitude of the force on ABC at pin B. As with just about all the time I want to sum moments about some other reaction to eliminate those forces from the equation and so I want to sum moments about point A. Counterclockwise is positive. That's equal to negative 75 starting off here at the right end times the horizontal distance 9.66 plus 2.5 feet 9.6 2.5 and it's negative because it's causing clockwise rotation about point A plus because it's causing counterclockwise rotation about point A the first one I do is the vertical force which is FBY or FB cosine of 20 times its moment arm of 2.5 inches rotating counterclockwise Plus, also, because it's going counterclockwise, FB sine of 20, BX, times its vertical distance of 4.33 inches. Doing the math, I get negative 75 times 12.16, the sum of those two dimensions. Cosine of 20 times 2.5 is 2.349. Sine of 20 times 4.33 is 1.481. Both of those are factors of FB. Continuing to do the math, I get negative 912 for negative 75 times 12.16 plus 3.83, the sum of those two numbers, times FB. Taking the 912 to the other side of the, the negative 912 to the other side of the equal sign, I get 
FB is equal to 912 divided by 3.83 or 238 pounds up. So it's compression in that member, as I assumed. So I got a positive sign there. Number two, or part two, is the, I'm asked, what's the vertical force at A? It's really A, Y. Summing forces in the Y direction, positive is up, by my assumption. That's equal to AY plus, because it's also up, BY, which is really FB cosine of 20, minus 75 pounds. So that's equal to AY plus 238 pounds, the force in B, times the cosine of 20, minus 75. Rearranging, doing the math, I get AY is equal to 75 minus 223.6. So that equals to negative, AY is equal to negative 148.6 pounds. So that means it's opposite my assumption, which was up, so it must be down. So I've boxed that answer. Number three, what's the horizontal force at A? AX. Sum of forces in the x direction positive to the right is zero is equal to AX minus BX, which is also FB times the sine of 20. And that's all I have in the x direction, those two forces. AX is equal to 238 FB times 0.342, which is the sine of 20. So rearranging, I get AX is equal to 81.4 pounds and it's a positive number so my assumption of to the right is correct put a box around that finally I want to know what's the force that press D exerts on seal E so just to help myself I drew a little free body diagram of the the press at D and I've got the force acting down because it's in compression pushing on the press pushing on pin D of FB, which I resolve into the two components, FB cosine 20, FB sine of 20 in the horizontal. And I have a reaction from the sidewall at that press that I've called DX. And then I have the vertical force that really the seal is pressing upward on the uh, press. So the force is going to be the opposite direction on the seal. So I've really got to reverse that sign here, here in a minute. So some forces in the Y direction, positive is up. EY, the reaction from the seal, minus the vertical component of FB, which is FB cosine 20. Do the math, EY is equal to 238 times 0 0.940, which is the cosine of 20. So the upward force the seal exerts on the uh, press is 223.6 to give the answer in the right direction I reverse that sign of that to be the force that the press exerts on the seal at E